stone. And uh, that was the knife round playing out just then. And UKCS, they did indeed win. So they get to pick what side they start on. We've already seen one game today. And we've still got four more left, including this one. It's going to be fairly exciting. Hugo, are you, are you looking forward to it? Seeing just some raw, some raw UKCS, the talent, the aim, the marksmanship, the teamwork, the bonding. The screaming down voice chat. I'm looking forward to it indeed, Harry. And I mean, maybe I'm making a dumb decision, but I'd like to know your predictions for this matchup. What are you what are you feeling? Oh, well, let me uh, let me say, you know, I, I have a few little opinions on this when you have players in here, such as, uh, you know, K K Kin Deadly. He, yeah. he, you know, I mean, or, or, you know, I never know how to say his name. But what a guy. So I think Soz for own are easily going to take this because of that one standout player. Uh, you know, UKCS Kiss Kiss, they've got kisses in their name. So, you know, obviously you want to give them some points for that. It's bold, it's audacious, and it might prove they have what it takes. But, uh, you know, if anything, it's going to be the other way around. It's Soz for own, they do kick things off as KHX picks up one. Jake is going to be falling very early on, but now to try and return. And then Whisker as well, going to be dropping PHX out of the equation, leaving us now in a four on three. The man advantage going to be going the way of UKCS Kiss Kiss as they rotate almost everyone over towards B. They leave Frisbee alone over at A. Yeah, he does catch himself one, but Jamster's going to trade it out really quickly. Still the Deagle in the hands of Carmen. No, their headshot coming through. That's good. And the bomb down as well means a 2v2 is in play. But Karma, he's got to watch out. He's going to get overrun. Wist takes him. And now James, he has to play the close range angle. He's only got the clock to work with. Peeps out, catches both players, but Whisk is going to hit the fatal headshot. UKCSXX, they do take that first pistol round there. And not going to be the prediction that we aspire to, but it may topple over. Sosfaron obviously getting that bomb down, meaning the buy will be coming out in the third round. So only one pain for Eco coming in here, assuming they don't force. Yeah, I mean, you know, they did get that bomb down, but they could look to try and force the issue, like you say, go for something a little bit cocky, a little bit out there, and go for a force buy, but it doesn't look like that's what we're going to be seeing. They will just be buying on down P250s, uh, you know, across the board, with the exception of PHX, who does have that Deagle in play. And now they're slowly but surely pushing over towards this B site. We can see a good bit of aggression coming out. That smoke looking to slow them down, but it doesn't. It's actually panicked over here, over at short. Going to be able to find two on the back of the Famous. Wants to keep this aggression going, but it's going to get punished for it as Kin Deadly finishes him off. It's a three on three. That nade can be able to find a lot of damage, but not enough as Bomb does go down. It's a second plant. Jake now forcing the issue out of the site. Does have a Nova to try and farm some cash, but ultimately they're actually being dropped. Now it's a two on two. Bomb's still ticking away. Well, Sos Throne looked to be in the driving seat in this round. Yeah, this has actually turned out to a really successful round here for Sos Throne. So far on Kim Deadly, he's going to go above and beyond. Another shot coming out. He takes down Jake, but he's all out of ammo. Only a Gok left. As long as he can just play the time, he may be able to win this. But there's still Frisbee with his SMG. He has time to push towards. He has that kit, but he's staying on the bomb. This is perfect from Kim Deadly. There's just no time left. If he knew he only had a Glock, he would have been able to probably take that round with some aggression. But it's not going to go his way. And Sos Throne, somehow, without even forcing that one up, they're going to be able to take the round. Obviously, Frisbee gets away with that SMG, but the T's, they actually uh, they actually really put their put their foot in there and shut it slam uh, slam it shut, sorry, on the UK CSXX team. So nice stuff so far from Sosferon, and they are going to have a lot of economy because of that. They had plenty saved in the bank, and as well as the combined money from winning that round, they are going to be up to these AKs and a couple of SMGs to bat as well. As UK, they do go for a bit of an eco hero, more so of a quasi. Yeah, the options for UKCS Kiss Kiss into this one is just to try and take things slowly, put these pistols to use at close range. And I mean, already Plat Control going to be going the way of Sosferone as they push on out. You can see Kindeli looking to start things off. Does rally off a shot with the UMP, as does Jim Esther. And now it's all on Addict. And oh, through the smoke, he's going to be eliminated, leaving this all on Frisbee and Neto. And while they don't believe this site's clear just yet, and they would be correct, Frisbee on the other side of the smoke, he's going to be dropped out of the equation, leaving it all on Neto with the Deagle. Can't quite connect any shots. As they go aggressive here, the UMP's mighty roar can be heard finishing off Neto there through the doors to farm up an extra $600. And it's also going to mean that Sos for own. They get themselves that second round on the board and force UKCS Kiss Kiss onto, uh, you know, fairly shaky ground. It will uh, look like it could be a force, though, on the cards right now. A light investment, not too much, and this will be another money grabbing round here for the T's. Obviously, the SMGs are going to yield them six hundred dollars a kill, so that's going to be a nice bit of uh, pocket money just to put in the bank there. Well, 
Not a great way to start off a round, Alec. He's going to get burned down. Uh, Deagle does trade things back out from the CT side. It's Jake on the site. Does wreak some havoc as well as a 50-50 on Frisbee. He's going to make himself known with finding one quick kill onto Kin Deadly. But still, the Wipers are going to be very dominant on the side of Sos Verone. So they're definitely not out of this round just yet. And continuing this aggression onto the site, they've got to worry. But Jake here, he's going to be the linchpin for the team. And he's really doing some serious damage here. Finally gets spotted out and the rest of the team will fall alongside him as well. It's all going to be on Neto here, just sitting on towards the back of the Dwayne. Dwayne Johnson is the bomb. It's yet to be planted, but they're not in a rush for time. Yeah, I mean, he just left here in the basking heat of the sun on it on cobblestone. And as he goes in for the push, the UMP dealing some good damage. Can't quite find the frag, but he's got two players left to find. He walks out into the waiting arms of them both. And we'll be seeing his head removed swiftly. It's going to be a third round on the board right now for Sosfron as they take two rounds over UKCS Kiss Kiss. Now they're finally going to be buying on now. We can see the uh, UMP in play on the back of Whisk. He can, of course, be a little bit more fluid. We'll have to be playing these close angles with that. But overall, it's a fairly decent buy. He can, of course, trade up on the back of his team as well. There's two different styles in which they could play him on the back of this UMP. Everyone else can be opting for the rifles. And right now, Sos Frone, they've still got a... You know, just rifles in the UMP in play, so there's a lot of mobility on the cards for them here, and that's you know, very much shown by how they've been playing this B site. Lots of aggression. This time going to be shut down early on thanks to these smokes. Not going to allow too much to come out of it just yet. You can already see they've doubled on back, fell in, in towards mid, and aren't going to be pushing B just yet. Yeah, calm. A bit of pressure over towards drop down. It will actually work out for him as well. Takes down Addict. And in the meantime, PHS sneaking up over towards the plateau. Goes down to Whisk. But still, there's plenty of players to trade this one out. The SMG's got to be great at close range. But they do have the AKs. That's going to have that one shot headshot potential. The Molotov forcing him out on towards the box. But they're going to spam it. He shoots through it. Nice shot there onto Karma. And he's actually going to get a lot of damage onto Kin as well. As he's put down to 17 HP. The rest of the team, though, rotating back over towards EA site. And actually, the funny thing is, UKCS, XX, they fully rotate off that is a key mistake you should not be making especially with no full commitment to the site there so now it's going to be under the control of these t's and the bomb can go down this could be a great round here for the terrorists definitely so especially with walker making his way out mid finding one can be swiftly oh. traded oh my oh, god no, 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 no. Was, oh, it wasn't. Was hugo you I, hyped me up for no reason oh. he nearly got an oh my god that was insane but he didn't quite because i thought, it wasn't I thought he him, flicked but, it yeah no, that, that would have been crazy uh you know a, a little too crazy it wasn't so don't worry guys we're gonna we're gonna unhype the situation now by just monotoning our voices a little bit more calm down <laughs> Calm down. It's it's UK Counter Strike. That can't happen. It can. It can. It, it really can. But uh, yeah, it is now currently two three. As UKCS, they're back on the board. We can see they pick that round up. You know, quite reset the economy. That was Sosphone, who did have a very very strong previous three rounds. With that, uh, you know, keeping five players alive in one of them, and then three in the next. Money not going to be an issue just yet. As well as bomb plants are plenty. UKCS playing this. Fairly passively over on the CT side, not going to be looking for any early aggression. Neither are Sons for Own. They're meeting the passive player with passive player of their own. It's actually going to be a Karma to pick up that first frag onto Addict. Yeah, again, Karma finding that kill down that angle. And it's going to work out very well for him as well with James start over towards his A site, finding himself another pick. Now UKCS, well, we talked about their over rotations. It's definitely going to come into play, but this is more of a risk uh, risk play there. Fully stacking the A site. Now, if Sol's Throne commit towards A, they're going to be able to hold them down fairly well to, go, to a good extent. But if Sol's Throne commit towards his B site, it's going to be a full save from UKCS. That's the basic strategy behind this one. Um, it, while it may seem weird for all three of them stacking, they're not going to win a 3v5 if they split up. So playing the trade game is a safer option than they've actually uh, flipped to the wrong side of the coin because Sosferon are actually hitting this B site with the exception of Jamester sneaking up the ramp. But they should just have the crossfire onto him. You can already see Jake's holding the angle alongside Neto as well. And that's going to be at least one free kill, but the rest of Sosferon are hitting B. So bomb down. UKCS are going to be saving this one. There will be another for the T's. Yeah, you know, if you look at the economy, they wouldn't have been able to finance a buy into the next round. So if they can keep all three rifles up, it is going to bode well for them and should allow a force buy on the cards almost indefinitely. So it's throwing as well as that they have lost James Still, like you say, he was on that flank up through mid, losing him. Going to be a little bit more damage to the old economy, but he has got $9,000 in his pocket, looking to earn even more out of this round. So not going to be too much of a blow here. You can see they're exiting out towards A, and they have decided to stay here on behalf of UKCS, so they have to try and hold this one down. And Whisk, able to get one, just whisks his head clean off, as the name would suggest. It's going to be a three-on-three. Three. The push 
still continuing for Sos Frame, but they don't want to lose too much here in trying to take these rifles off them. They finally do manage to drop out Jake. And but that's that, so that, unlucky that, for yeah, Jake. I mean, ultimately, that's actually going to, you know, disallow the force by now. Yeah, if they say three players, you can easily drop a couple of rifles out of that, get some pharmacists, maybe even another M4 on the board. But with only two players saving, the others have to eco. That's so unfortunate for UKCS. They would have had a chance into this round, but now it's looking quite fruitless. This time, though, Karma not going to be able to find that pick towards the drop down. He is going to get caught out from Neto. The man of is going to be on the way of the CT side as Sosrone. They do still attempt this aggression. Neto, again, that's the one tap this time onto PHX. That's actually working out for them. I was just about to say they wouldn't be able to pick up this round, but I'm clearly being proven wrong at this point because Sosrone, they're down two men. The only positive is they're hitting towards this A site. But again, with these over rotations, this time it may be the, the right call to make as UKCS, they fully rotate their team pretty much over towards this site. They have the aggression on the hands of Jake, who's pushed up on the flank. So he's able to gather all of this information. They're going to be able to dispatch these teams one by one. No one makes it out alive. And UKCS, they keep four players into the next round. There's going to be plenty of kisses going on after that one. Yeah, plenty of kisses indeed. I mean, it is going to be an all-important third round on the card right now. The UKCS kiss kiss. And, well, I mean, that is kind of what they needed in order to try and equalize this one out. You can see it's going to put a stop to the economic beast that was you know, rearing its head on the side of Sons for Their money now looking to be a lot more tight. You can see they've hardly been able to buy up utility into this round. Four flashes and two montages between them. As well as that decoy up on Karma, which, you know, is going to be just top notch. Him to try and pull something off with that in a little bit. Right now, they are taking things a lot more slowly. They're losing that kind of recent success that they've had on both A and B. And as a result, we've seen that aggression be pulled out from underneath them. They can't afford to be as confident. They're taking things a lot more slowly. They're doubting themselves already. Now, as they make their way out towards A, they're looking to try and change up the pace, try and find a new entry onto these sites. Whisk, the player here to hold them back, has got the AK, all the utility he needs to hold this one down. But it's actually been Karma to find the first engagement. Tags down, Frisbee, PXX out from long as well. Looking to try and find one on a Whisk, but it's not going to go his way. Does get dropped. Can Deadly there to trade things out? It's going to be a four on four as the push comes on in towards this A site. No utility there to cover the cross. <clears throat> Sorry, thought my was muted there, but... Either way, Orb's going to be posted up for his feet. Has the angle. Going to be able to catch a first. Walker goes down. Oh, Follow-ups as the bomb actually does cross towards the site safely. That's going to be quite impressive now for Sosero. Nice timing from them. And James though, catching out another, putting it back onto a three-on-three. -on -three, but they're quickly alleviated by Neto, who gets himself two. It's all onto Karma. He has to go big, and he will do so, but only two. Going to fall short of that round. And UKCS XX are indeed going to be picking this one up. Four to four. It's equalized a back-and-forth match so far. But they're finally going to stabilize with a couple in a row, which is at least going to be something positive for the CT economy. They do have a fairly good one at that. Lots of money in the bank for this buy. Yeah, I mean, the finances on the side of UKCS are looking fine as Danny. Sus for own, on the other hand, not going to be looking too great. We can see they forced by our Danny got the uh, AK up on PHX. That is a horrible name to say. I really dislike it. It's, it's so hard to roll off the tongue. It isn't natural. But uh, three Tech Nines and a Deagle as well. Going to try and, uh, you know, mix together the mobility with a little bit of long-range supremacy. Now the first to try and find a Frank does drop out Walker, who's now looking more like a crawler as he gets taken down. Uses the ability to lose his legs. And now PHX on the site finds two on the back of that spray, but it's going to be dropped out of the equation very, very early on. Leaving this all on at Karma. He's been able to grab that AK. Just scavenge it off of his fallen comrade. Goes for the duel, but ultimately Whisk going to be winning that one out as UKCS, they pick up their fifth round on the board and retake the one-round advantage lead that we saw them get early on. This is impressive, though. You know, one team... Uh, well, I mean, we saw the previous match. Fortum only picked up two rounds overall, and comparing it to this one, it's a lot closer. I'm having a lot more fun watching a team actually be able to pick up rounds and not just a complete straight stomp. So uh, it's very rare to see this, but it's always a nice surprise here for the new year. And 
Going into this round, we've got Solsferone heading in towards middle. They've got a couple of players outside B. They're likely to be splitting in through the drop down here to go for that A connector play, but it's instantly going to be denied. Nice stuff from Jake to pick up two kills. And now the rest of the players coming up through mid with no support, no flank, and no distraction for these rifle players over towards this A site. So they're going to have to be dealing with them head on. And while they do have a couple of eagles to play with, it's going to be very, very difficult in the, uh, these range games up against the Orps and the rifles. Good stuff from UKCS Kiss Kiss and a sixth round going to be gained as well as Sosferone finally go for their bite once again. Here we go. This is where it gets interesting, guys. Let's get some hype and chat. we got the double op set up. Kin Deadly, the man with a plan, and Jamester also on the AWP, but with a name that doesn't sound as cool. It's going to be them making their way over towards this B site now. So they push on in, looking to try and make something happen on the back of this double AWP. By. It is costly, it's risky, but it might pay off as they send all five players over towards B. Now, can Deadly looking at full on, uh, sorry, James, they're looking at full on back. Hold mid, watch for any aggression. Not going to be able to find anything just yet, but if we look at the map, Addict is pushing up long, slowly but surely, and his positioning with that AWP could be devastating if they decide to go for a rotate. They've got PXX down, and oh my god, Whisker did, wasn't even sure he got that. Just went on a bit of a whim, it goes for the pre fire, picks up the frag. It was a nice one at that. And we can see Addict, he's covered a lot of ground. He's got in the back lines here, and he's all the way over by connector. Gonna be looking to try and cause some real problems for Sosferone right now. And as he goes aggressive with the five seven, I'm gonna get one walker once again. Falling prey, gonna be able to get a second. Looking for a third. Oh my god, what are you doing, Addict? This shouldn't be allowed. Cadetly misses the no scope. Gonna try and land it again, but he can't quite connect the shot. And Addict nearly picks up his fourth, but not quite. It would have been an epic flank had it gone down the way he wanted it to, but he is gonna be dropped. Now it's all on Kin Deadly. One versus four. Bomb at his feet. But he's got to peek out to get it. And they know that on the side of UKCS. They're going to keep the aggression going. He gets tagged again. That's two leg shots now with the AWP. Can't quite take them down. It's going to be 7-4 as UKCS pick up their seventh in a very dominating fashion. Mm, spicy stuff from Addict and sells for own again down in the dumps in terms of money they are going to be having to eco this one out as a loss bonus it does reach this maximum 3.4k so it's not going to at least be holding them back in terms of buying assuming they get that bomb down but if they don't they're going to be on and off with ecos and quasis uh, for the rest of the half until they slowly get too too depressed to play and it's all going to be on uh, Neto here as they run past him on plateau how does that happen he sprays down one but wish the second shot is going to be wished to at least alleviate some of the pressure by landing another one the bomb not making its way towards that plant spot yet and there's no smokes left left so this is going to be very very difficult to cross over towards that spot with two players holding the angle frisbee being one of those aforementioned players going for that spray down support from risk as well but the nades not quite landing that one will karma is on five hp this should all be over for solstron and obviously this is only a bit of an eco round it doesn't matter too much that they aren't don't think anything up from it but it would have been nicer to get a bomb plant but maybe more walker gets himself two yeah walker has found two frags and we're gonna try and get another flash does go out but he does spot that one turns away and as a result they're not gonna gain much ground from it they're just wasting utility at this point as he baits it out but it's only gonna be frisbee it proves if anything he's more like a boomerang because he always comes back to haunt you does drop out walker there to cement an 8-4 scoreline on the cards, as well as taking UKCS to a six-round consecutive win streak, putting them in a very good place in terms of their economy. Sos for own, they are falling behind, both in terms of rounds and money. And it's only going to look to get worse here, as we can see. They buy on down. You've got the AWP up on Karma, can deadly opting for the uh, AK James here as well. Not going to be uh, picking up the AWP. The side of Sosferone instead being tossed over to Karma, someone who hasn't had too much impact and looking to have even less as he gets put six feet under Addict. Meanwhile, someone not short of having impact into these rounds picks up two very early on, falls on back, and already this A push going to be completely picked apart here. Drop on, drop on. As they continue up and towards this A site, Walker over at B, going to be spotted out. He falls as does James to it. It's all on Kindedly, able to get one, but he's still got a contest with Addict, who already has two frags. He's looking for a third. The rotate's coming on in, and Kindedly, it's not looking good. Does have time on his hand, though. Plenty of it. And if he can grab this bomb and sneak it through the connector, there's a real chance for him to make something happen here. But the orb going to be too strong on an Addict. He's really been showing his skills off this map. And it is going to make it work for UK to pick up once again another round on the board. This is a huge streak. Seven in a row. And uh, after it was looking fairly in the favour of Salt's Throne, I think we can agree that they were, I guess, the favourites to win this map. So, uh, so well, not so far, but at the beginning. But so far, this has been completely the opposite. And 
it's only looking like the half is going to be conceded by these T's as well as they've only got a couple of pistols and a triple rifle buy up into this round before the final attempt in the final round of the half. But heading over towards B again, we've got this one player over towards A just to create a bit of a distraction or at least catch some rotations that are too aggressive down middle. But already he's going to be dropping himself back towards his B site. As you can see, Frisbee starts to get aggressive. But in the meantime, Jake's holding down drop down. He's doing an excellent job of it so far. Yeah, Frag's just raining on in once again in favor of UKCS. And we can see Karma is going to be quick to refrag with the Deagle. Puts into the four on three scenario we're seeing now. And it's a one man advantage for UKCS. So it's thrown. They're still committed to B. They've really got their heart set on it. And they're going to pay the price. Whisk able to mop up one more. Karma falls. Flash goes out. Is he going to account for James to being in the same position he just found a frag? No, he's not. Because why would you? He's going to be falling. No one there to trade does mean it's going to be put into a two on three. The man advantage. Still going to be leaning away UKCS Kiss Kiss here, and James still wants to try and do something about that. Does peek on out, find some damage on Addict, as well as pulling his position for the rest of the team. They know where at least two of these players are as they push out in towards the site, but the rotate is here and in full swing. All three players primed and ready to go, and it's showing as UKCS. They're shutting down Soz Phone on this push. It's all on Walker, and he's going to be quickly dealt with by Neto. Over from short. Double digits has finally been reached, and Soz, well, they're going to have a very sorry buy in this last one. I mean, no, they should have a few rifles up, definitely, but it's not going to be a full buy by any means. The Deagle's going to be up on Kin Dudley. But uh, really, no one's shining too much for this Soz for own team. Obviously, both these teams are mixed teams, so you can't really expect too much in terms of team play. But individually, Soz for own just seem to be very lackluster. We've had a lot of uh, great plays from UK uh, CSXX, you know, players like Addict, picking up three or 4K rounds on the bat, and Neto as well, doing a great job at holding down. So it's a, it's a surprise to see Soz for own not in that same boat here, but they will at least turn one round into their favour finding that first pick, but it is going to be quickly traded back out as PHX, he goes down trying to split into the connector for his late A take. Bomb now looking to rotate on back and rejoin with the rest of the team over A, but instead a change of pace, a change of sight, instead flipping it around over towards B as they lose Karma. It's not looking good here for the push, perhaps a little bit of an error in their decision making. They've already lost two players now for the cause over towards this B side, you can see and they do rotate through continually to rejoin the rest of the team. Bomb making its way out towards Platt. The split coming in from short. If the timing's there, this could work. But that flash going to delay the push that much more. And Addict on site just being a beast with the AWP. Locking it down. Now it's a 2 on 4 and already Sus thrown. They're not looking good here as they push out onto the site. Neto as well to back them up. Going to be able to pick up two frags for himself. To cement an 11 round scoreline for UKCS as they round out the first half. And I mean... Great. It's Hugo, I mean, oh, it's it, you know, it, it was it was looking like it would have been close. It was we looking like, like it could have been spicy. Yeah, when we were like six rounds in, I was like, ah, oh, I'm glad this isn't a complete trounce. I'm glad no one's getting stomped, but I'm not gonna lie, I may have uh, I may have jinxed it because right. we're at four now, and and so I'm, I'm thinking to the CT side. I'm thinking right, UKCS, you know, it, it's very up in the air. You know, you you either love it or you hate it, and I'm not gonna ask you to predict who you think is gonna win. But I'm going to ask you something that I think is easy to predict. Every game, I want you not to predict the scores or who's going to take the, 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 big, the big V, the big W. I want you to tell me and predict the roster shuffles between these two teams. I think go. both teams are going to disband after this match. All right, there we go. Boom. There's your prediction. Cool. I reckon we're going to be seeing Jake off, off of UK uh, CS Kiss Kiss. And uh, they're going to move over Kin Deadly. Bam. There you go. You heard it here first. Come all check back in was, in 24 was, hours and see all if... you did was pick the bottom player off Soz and... Uh, sorry, the bottom player off UK and then top player off Soz, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's some good logic there, actually. Stats matter, dude. Stats matter. But either way, <laughs> Kin Deadly. Let's see if he can make something work here. He's up against Jake, so he should be able to hold this one down. But there is Net Neto over towards that chicken coop, tapping away. Just not enough ammo, not enough time, and not enough roster shuffles here. It's going to be the round going to UKCS Kiss Kiss the 13th going to be secured to four here and that's a pistol round on the t-side as well so oh sorry 12 to four and that's a pistol round on the t-side as well so that's pretty much uh gg at this point especially considering they're now moving to the favored side of the half yeah a little bit of uh a little bit of uh you know flame yeah Oh, well, it's, so, it's so good, guys. It's so good. My voice just cracked. Maybe that will distract everyone from everything else that's going on. It's so, it's so good fun.
But, uh, yeah, here we go. It's 12-4 right now, and things are heating up both here and in the chat as flames spouting left and right. We can see it's a three on five right now as they push out in towards the uh, B site, and it's going to be a very tricky task here for Sosphorone, especially with Karma whiffing his shots. Finally picks up one. They have to try and deal with him, and they do so. Now it's all on Walker. He's very far away. Well, I'm just, uh, I'm just enjoying this chat. It's far more impressive than Soz's, uh, Soz's rounds, to be honest. Why do people is, always ask for the iSeries seat number? Is, is Please chat understand open? that this isn't threatening. <laughs> Misty, is, is chat open on the stream? I hope it is. You know. <laughs> okay, it's not even open on stream. No one can see what we're talking oh, it's about. It's not even open on stream, we just found out. That's... Oh. That's disappointing, but yeah, we, don't worry. We, we, we can assure you that there is there is some premium sirloin beef steak going down in chat right now. It's 13 <laughs> to 4, and it wouldn't be UKCS without a little bit of over-competitiveness. Here we go. We can see, and right now UKCS are setting up out towards this B site once again. Four players here. They have got a player over towards mid in the form of Neto to watch for any early aggression, but the aggression actually going to be found instead over towards Ramp. You can see they're just shutting down this B site, and oh my god, Sosphorone, they're losing everyone. Now it's all on Karma and Walker. Make that just Karma as he rotates in from A. All five players still alive for UKCS Kiss Kiss. And he's going to be eliminated very, very swiftly as the MAC-10 roars to life and rips his head clean off. Yep, 14 to 4. I mean, what, what else can you say about this, Harry? It's, it's pretty much over at this point. And uh, Sosphorone are going to attempt one last ditch buy with a double orc setup on the CT side. Something a little bit more interesting, but whether it will be uh, a, a comeback, I'm not too confident. You know, I'm, I'm not feeling it right now, but uh, let, let's see, let's see. Let's not make any hasty decisions here. Nice double day down into middle. That will do a lot of damage there. Walker's only going to get one though before the trade comes through. And actually very equal so far, back and forth. This time finally in the way of UKCS and Sosphorone, they're not quite able to get that trade. And with Karma and PHX left, it's not looking like a retakeable situation unless PHS can really deny some of these players from getting into the site quickly. And that's not looking like the case, as you can see. PHS is going to be biting the dust, gets taken down. It's a three on one. Here we go. He has got the AWP looking to try and save it. That's going to mean that UKCS Kiss Kiss are going to be arriving. At match point 15 to 4, a very, very strong lead. And who knows, maybe this means they develop another kiss in their name. Maybe next time we see them, it'll be UKCS kiss, kiss, kiss. You never know. Karma is going to be looking to save over and towards B. UKCS, they're going to just let him get away with it. Don't want to risk losing anything. They don't really have a lot of money to spare, despite having plenty of rounds under their belt, just taking their time. A 15 to 4 scoreline, though, is going to be on the cards. Yep, as expected here. Again, I'm not going to go back and jinx myself in the next match. I'll probably see uh, you know, both teams doing very well in the first few rounds. Because uh, last time I said Sosphorone were doing well, uh, they stopped picking up rounds. And it's been about 10 rounds since that. So obviously uh, not the best situation we've ever seen. But again, last chance here for Sosphorone to try and stay in this bracket. Otherwise, they are going to be eliminated. This is a best of one. This is single elimination. And UKCS, they are just on the edge of making their way towards the next stage of the bracket, which we will be following, obviously, in uh, all of our matches today of the qualifier for UKGT. And we're going to see this attempted hold on the B site as we see a lot of pressure come down straight away. Karma will deny one with that saved AWP, but whether they can do a little bit more is going to be interesting. Whisk, nice double entry so far, but again, he's going to walk into the AWP. This time, Karma misses it, though. That's a shot you can't afford to miss, but Kim Denley retrieves it with the Deagle there, back into a three-on-two, and it's going back and forth. Nice wall bang from Neto, but it's all a walker now to try and hold this off. Keep it alive for the sauce throwing players. He won't be able to. Goes down to Neto. UK CS Kiss Kiss make it through with a 16-4 to scoreline. <laughs> And uh, a nice scream in the voice chat as well as we see Sosphorone completely eliminated from the event. Yeah, and there we go. To quote Kin Deadly, GG, hard to win against these no-namers. There we go. It's going to be 16-4. And well, what a game. That was game two of the night. And I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I'm actually having a lot of fun. These are actually some pretty decent games indeed. we got plenty more to come as this is only game number two of four. We've still got game three and four up next. That's for those of you who apparently... Uh, uh, numerically 